Welcome to Maine. I'm at my parents' house for Christmas and part of winter, and I'm super excited to introduce you guys to my whole family, my mom, my dad, brother, sister, and brother's wife, and show you their beautiful solar home that they built and designed by themselves in the middle of the woods in Maine. So without further ado, let's take a look at the house and talk to my parents a little bit about how they designed and built it and when I say this, I mean they actually built everything except the foundation with their own hands, of course. So, here's the house. Winters without snow are not always the most flattering time to see a house in Maine, but this is when I'm here, so let's go ahead and go on in. We bought a chainsaw, actually two chainsaws, and we started clearing and we built our house, which is, we designed it ourselves. Shasha did all the rock work and I did all the wood finish work. So our house is full of what I like to call accidental features, which are things that happened like all Because we made it up as we went along. <laughs> <laughs> we had the, the book for windows and we would be framing out a wall, we'd say, how big of a window do you think we can put in here? And we'd measure it and we'd check it off. It was that sophisticated. And one time the lumber company sent uh, a different size um, beam than we had ordered. They were longer, so we changed the design of the roof based on the fact that we had longer boards. Um, that's how we built our house. Our town is great. The uh, building permit, it said, use, it said supply blueprints if they're being used. And we weren't using blueprints, so we didn't supply anything. Just... So we had a little sketch of our house on a napkin, and that was what they put in our file. People ask us what we think about like sailing, and when I was her age solo sailing, my dad said, I wish you would sail with someone, it'd be a lot safer, and I worry about you, oh, but you'll understand when you have your own kids. So I understand now what that's all about. <laughs> <laughs> I think being on a boat is much safer than other things you can do, like driving a car. You can't just live in a hole and try to be safe. I think you need to get out and live and do what you want to do. And if you're doing what you want to do, you're more than likely to have um, better luck at it. I think boats are safer. Well, I just think that Holly is awesome and that it's I'm so proud of what you're doing. And you're doing what you want to do, and that's being happy is probably the biggest thing in life. That's probably one of the most important things. We're all in charge of our own happiness, so you have just nailed it. So we want to thank everyone who supports Holly uh, through her websites. And I would like to thank the gentlemen who have uh, been making comments after the videos about Shaja. Um, <laughs> I think it's nice and incredible that you have the same admiration for my wife that I have because she totally deserves all the admiration oh, she can wow. get. So keep those great comments coming about Jaja because <laughs> I really enjoy them because they're all true. I feel the same way and uh, I take them in the same spirit in which they're given. Coolest dad in town, right? One thing I love about coming to Maine is how beautiful it is. And even though winter is cold and disappointingly not snowy this time around, it's just so free from tourists and you basically get all of the beautiful nature spots to yourself. One of my family's favorite places to visit is this really beautiful rocky coastal area and it's usually a tradition that around Christmas time we go down to the rocks and just enjoy nature and get away from all of the terrible consumers and that is Christmas <laughs> and stretch our legs a, bit, a little bit and breathe in some fresh air. Today I'm moving my sister at her I've never used one of these things before, so we'll see what happens. In the flesh. <laughs> Welcome to Holly's hair salon. <laughs> Today we're going to get a chop. Oh, I'm thinking that um, it needs to be shorter. If you think it looks bad, don't tell her. <laughs> Um, but without cutting my actual hair. It's such a weird... <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to cut your ear with this, right? Um. 
<laughs> the haircut was a great success. I started making videos when I was probably 16 with Tiga and she and I always like to do something silly when we're together and since we haven't seen each other in over a year we definitely had to make a video together and I thought I would share it with you guys because I thought it turned out pretty well. We decided to cover Island in the Sun and do a parody main style, definitely in the sun but not warm. <laughs> Here it is. My brother and his wife have been together for 10 years. They started dating when I was, I think, 18. Do you want to sit down? this way. Yeah. I'm really good at this. Our first date is a sailing story. Okay. I had this laser and we took it sailing in Muskangas Bay as our first date. He had been saying how he wanted to take me sailing and and I was looking forward to it. So finally this day came up and it was perfect. I'm like, great, he's finally gonna take me sailing in his little boat. And it was a nice day. It was probably like 10 knots. It was warm, the sea was calm. 
And Tish looked behind us and said, look how beautiful the black, dark sky is against the green trees in the sunlight. She has always appreciated the aesthetics of nature. And then like a forty ounce ball came up and it got dark and they were asunder. Um, but Chris was really calm, so I don't know why I would be like worried at all. And we were downwind of... We were on a broad reach, but the storm came from behind us. The hit the laser, it ripped... I think it ripped Traveler. the boom thing off the mast. It ripped, we got the boat turned around. I sculled it around to the wind. I lashed the traveler back onto the, um, on one of the gudgeons. You don't really need the boom thing going head to wind. And we beat head to wind in this squall for, I don't know, it was a few miles. And as soon as we got to the harbor, the wind died and we had to paddle it. And I was like, wow, this is about, like the boat was like healing over and it was a lot of fun. and. I said he wasn't worried so I was like yeah this is just normal this is what happens um and it was a little cold but it was still a lot of fun so and it re remains one of my like favorite memories mm -hmm. like, oh yeah we were in a spa with this tiny little broken boat but mm -hmm. it was fine <laughs> and they still liked each other yeah and then our second date I think it was our second date well, the second time in that boat at yeah least, um was the last time that boat sailed yes uh <laughs> Chris taught Chris was teaching me how to um, I'd been doing the tiller and he was teaching me how to trim the mainsail and he kept saying tighter tighter so I did and then like, all of a sudden the mast went right into the water. Ripped like, the mast step out of the deck. Oh dear. So, She's a strong one. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we were still quite a ways out so he lashed a rope around his waist and around the mast so he was holding up the, the mast so we couldn't go too fast because he was opposing the force of the wind. But we couldn't go too slow because every wake and a wave went into the boat. We were also kind of sinking. Uh, so we got in, um, but then that was the end of the, uh, end of number, like, three, five, eight, six. <laughs> number whole number yeah. The beloved number. three, five, eight, six. I do that, it hurts. Fall shouldn't get these two together for very <laughs> And the next thing you know, they'll be underneath the tables and swinging on their bar stools. Who? Us? <laughs> <laughs> we always behave in public. You I know what you're talking one. about. <laughs> <laughs> Proof that you don't behave. It's a problem with making YouTube videos. <laughs> one great thing about being in Maine is that I have some extremely talented musical friends, and I decided to go visit one of them. His name is Griffin, and he plays pretty much every instrument in the world. And I went to go record some songs with him that I can put in future videos. He lives in town, we went to high school together, and he's in a couple different bands. So I just went over to his house so that we could mess around on various instruments and see what we came up with for future soundtracks for upcoming videos, and I'll share one of the things that we did with you guys at the end of this segment. <laughs> what program do you use? I'm just gonna use GarageBand for this because it's it's the simplest. I have Logic on this computer, but I don't think we're going to need to go that in depth. But yeah. I'm just more used to GarageBand. Simple is better. That's what I use too. Mm -hmm. You know what else I use? Dill pickle, crinkle cut potato chips. Man, dill pickle is good stuff. Ah, uh, they're very, they're very dilly. Can I try one? Mm -hmm. They were recording some basic sounds as backgrounds for my videos. We're just going to noodle around and come up with background noises that I can use for transitions and other scenes. We're sort of doing themes like happy, sad, scared, pensive, and I'll just stockpile it, and when you hear it, you'll know that it was created right here in Maine by Holly and Griffin Door. Hello! <laughs> On the amazing tiny keyboard that does a lot. Welcome to Wind Hippie Sailing. We're your hosts. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be with you all day. Morning, you go gunning for the man who stole your water. And you fight till he is done But they catch you at the border And the mourners are all singing And they drag you by your feet 
But the hangman isn't hanging, so they put you on the street. Yeah, you go back, Jack, you do it again. Wheel turning round and round, you go back, Jack, you do it again. Yeah. Here's a tiny sneak at what is going to be coming in my upcoming videos, but I can't show you too much because it's going to be a surprise. There we go. Ah, this is the Citizen Kane of music videos. I'm really stoked for you guys to see the actual serious music that we came up with. I'll definitely give Griffin a shout out whenever I use it in my upcoming videos. I also want to tell you guys a little bit about my family's house because it's all solar off the grid in the middle of 25 acres of woods. So I'm going to take you on a field trip up to their solar panel field so you can kind of see what that looks like and how it is coping with solar panels and snow and not a ton of sun in Maine in the winter. These are the solar panels that provide all the energy for my parents' house. They built them on a hill facing south, looking over the swamp. And they have dug cables in that run all the way under the ground back to the house. What this giant thing is over here, uh, my dad built it to brush snow off the solar panels when it's basically just a very long, sailory reinforced stick with a big shovel on the end to scrape snow off. He's very clever with everything that he does. And these get the most sunlight throughout the most of the year, but they're specifically designed to get sunlight in the winter because that's when there's the least amount of sun. Speaking of clever things my dad does, he has recently started his own business doing custom woodwork for boats, houses, and, and he also builds guitars. So I got him to talk a little bit about his company, which is located right next to their house. In uh, two years ago, I started my own business called Direction Woodworks, and Direction was the name of my first boat that Josh and I sailed around the world, and there was a lot of discussion about what we should call the business, and Josh came up with Direction Woodworks because Direction was our first boat that we sailed around the world on. People always ask me, what do I do? And I'm not really sure, but it usually involves houses and boats and woodworking and systems. And um, basically I've worked on boats my whole life. So if it involves a boat, I can do that. And then houses I'm kind of moving into. And um, if it involves wood, I'm good. It works. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I'm really excited about the opportunity that I've had to introduce you to my whole family and show you the house that I spent the last half of my childhood in once we moved off of our boat. I'm just really glad that you can see how much sailing is a part of my entire family's life and maybe have a little bit more of an understanding why I decided to do what I'm doing and why no one in my family is worried or mad that I'm just, you know, carrying on the Martin family tradition of sailing. I am leaving for Florida tomorrow to go visit my best friend for New Year's, and then I'm heading back down to Panama, 
and I'll give you guys the rest of my Panama trip videos in the next video in the next two weeks. Thank you so much to all of my patrons who continue to support me on Patreon, and if you're interested in supporting me, uh, my website is patreon.com slash windhippie. I also have an Instagram page, um, it's at Boat Lizard. I post a couple times a week on there, stories and photos, if you want to see more of what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life rather than my videos, which lag a little bit behind. I'm so excited to get back to my boat. I've been dreaming about it every night for the past couple days. It's really time. Being in a house is great, like having a shower in the same building that I live in that isn't uh, the ocean has <laughs> been really amazing. My hair feels awesome, but I'm ready to get back to my little boaty lifestyle. Man has been great, obviously. I feel like I haven't spent enough time here, but I'm ready to move on. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week. P.S. If you want to check out my dad's website for his business, it's Direction Woodworks, and I'll put a link of it in the info description below. He has more photos of some of his work that he does, and if you're in Maine, and you want to get any sort of custom woodwork done on your house or boat, obviously I recommend him. Um, but it goes beyond him just being my dad. He's very talented and very honest. So, just adding in that little plug.